This InDesign tutorial is going to talk about the much needed option of using spell checkers on all your documents that incorporate typography. So I'm going to go to File and Open, Chapter 5, Folder 16, and I'll open up this first one, Dynamic Spelling. This is a demo on dynamic spelling. So let's see what I can do here. InDesign Preferences Spelling. Okay, let's enable dynamic spelling. And let's see what we get. I'll click OK. And I'm going to take my type tool, click here once, hit return and return and say, this is a demo a boot spelling okay that's dynamic spelling it is highlighting or underlining the words as i type instead of having to go back and check that later it's reminding me right now this is a demo a boot should be about and two l's now they're not underlined anymore Okay, so if you're typing fast, this is a demo on spelling in, oops, in, in, in design. All right, notice how the word in is after a period. So that's going to highlight it under green. It's recognizing this is a new sentence. So it's reminding me that should have been a capital I. Okay, if I lower this to a lowercase t, it's going to be underlined in green. It's going to say, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is a first line in a new sentence. So capitalize that T, get rid of that I, switch the D, E and the M. Oops, there you go. So that is dynamic spelling. It's a little crazy because if you're typing fast, it's constantly reminding you. You're going to constantly go back and change it but that is how you deal with dynamic spelling. Okay, I'm gonna close that one up. I'll go to File and Open, and now I'm gonna use AutoCorrect, which is a really cool feature. So what I wanna do on this is first go to InDesign Preferences AutoCorrect, and I'm gonna enable that feature, okay? what? autocorrect does is takes the most commonly misspelled words like when people are typing fast they go a b b o u t well if you typed in two b's it's going to automatically correct it to one b okay um i'm going to try that a b b o t so let's try that first i'll click here hit return a couple of times and then say this is a demo about, see that, InDesign. It automatically corrected it. That was an accident. Okay, there's my dynamic spelling. I can highlight the C and delete that. But I picked the word accident. I just didn't pick the right misspelling of it because if I go to InDesign Preferences and AutoCorrect, you can see it right here. People usually misspell it with an I or I'm sorry, with an E instead of an A. So instead of typing A-C-C-I-D-A-N-T, accident, it will correct it to accident. Okay, and what I want to do is add my own words. I mean, there's a lot of words in here that are commonly misspelled and autocorrect correct will correct those, but I want to add my own. So I'm going to click add and I'm going to say the misspelled word is ID. And every time I type in the letters ID, I want it to type out the word InDesign. I can make shortcuts click ok click ok now i'm going to take my type tool and click i'll hit return a couple of times and i'll say id is all about id 
ID was developed as the best ID around. ID space, ID space. I don't have to type all those letters. ID is awesome as ID, okay? So that is a really cool feature of autocorrect, adding word shortcuts. Or if you're doing a um, an article about somebody, you don't wanna have to keep typing in their last name. So you could just type in their initials, CN, and then when you hit space, it would spell Chris Nielsen. So when you have those particular words that you know you're gonna use over and over, do it as an autocorrect addition to the dictionary. Okay, I'm gonna close those. I'll come into file and open, and I'll open up using check spelling. Okay, right here. First thing I'm gonna do is hit W. Notice you can see all the different spelling errors because I still have dynamic spelling turned on. If I hit W, I get rid of all those previews, and now I can pretty much just see what I would get if I were to print this. So I'm gonna go to InDesign Preferences, Spelling, Turn Off, Enable Dynamic Spelling, and I'm gonna turn off Autocorrect as well. Okay, what I wanna do now is check the spelling in this file. So I'm gonna take my type tool, and heck, I don't even need the type tool. Let's just click outside. I'm not even gonna select anything. As long as I'm on a layer that's unlocked, I'm gonna be able to check any type in this document. So I go to Edit Menu, Spelling, Check Spelling. Notice there's some quick shortcuts right down here as well for those preferences, but I'm gonna to go to Check Spelling. Okay, keep in mind, let me click Done for a second. Keep in mind, when you go to Check Spelling, it's not on your Type Menu, okay? Checking spelling means correcting and updating your file, correcting errors, editing your file. So in every program, Illustrator, Photoshop, InDesign, it's edit menu, spelling or check spelling on some of the other programs. But here's what you do. Check spelling automatically starts, says change to. Well, it sees the word Y-O-O, -O, and it says change it to Y-O-O. -O. Well, that's stupid. It's telling me it's spelled wrong. Change it to Y-O-U. Okay, and I can see that I did it a couple of times. So I'm going to say change all versions of Y-O-O -O to Y-O-U. There were five different times I spelled it wrong. Okay, that's cool. Checked them all. Cleary change to clearly i'll click change now full should be f-u-l so always check the list because you don't want to change full to the first one and say foul you want to make sure you got the right word in the list and i'll change that errors should be errors with two r's change it oops i skipped it darn it okay uh let's go backward Let's see if I can do that. Um, start. Okay, let's go backward. Document. Should be document. Change. There we go, backwards. Okay. Errors should be with two R's. Change. Now let's go forward and start. And let's see. Counting should have an I in there. Change it easily. Should be easily. Change it. And when everything gets grayed out, you're done, okay? But are you truly done? I don't know. Let's double check. This is a demo on checking your spelling. As you can clearly see here, that is the wrong version of the word here. So you gotta make sure you double check your spelling. Even after a spell checker, that is spelled correctly, but grammatically, that is the wrong version of the word. As you can clearly see here, it should be H-E-R-E. -E. This page is full of spelling errors. You can also see that this document can easily be corrected. The I should be capitalized, even though it's spelled correctly. 
it is up to you to search out and correct all the errors here. I know you can do it. Everyone is counting on you to do your best. Okay. So make sure you check for grammatical errors as well, not just spelling errors. I wish there was a grammar checker, but it doesn't work that way. So double check everything you do. Run a spell check and then read it again and then give it to somebody else to read it. You want to make sure you check the grammar errors as well as spelling errors here in Adobe InDesign.